Apple Inc. Apple is a multinational technology company located in Cupertino, California, at Apple Park, a massive circular ground scraper building with a circumference of 1 mile 1 1.6 kilometers. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs wanted Apple Park to look less like a business park and more like a nature refuge. Apple also operates from the Apple campus, known by its address, One Infinite Loop, a grouping of six buildings in Cupertino that total 850,000 square feet and are located about 1 mile 1 1.6 kilometers to the west of Apple Park. The Apple campus was the company's headquarters from its opening in 1993 until the opening of Apple Park in 2017. Apple is the largest company in the world by revenue, with up to $394 billion as of 2022. Apple is the second largest mobile manufacturer and one of the big five American information technology companies. Apple is a manufacturer of personal computers, smartphones, tablets, computer peripherals, and computer software. Tree and Origin Apple Computer Incorporated was founded on April 1, 1976, by college dropout Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. Ronald Wayne is less known since he left the company after 12 days and sold all his shares for $800. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak's partnership began several years earlier, when they were both working for a game development company called Atari. Wozniak, a self-taught engineer, began building boxes that allowed him to make long-distance calls for free. The pair sold several hundred of these boxes. Jobs and Wozniak sold their most valuable possessions, a van and two calculators, raising $1,300, in 1976, Jobs began to work on another box, the Apple I computer, without keyboard or power supply, for a computer hobby list club. A local retailer ordered 50 of the computers, which were built in Jobs' garage, and they eventually managed to sell 200 to the computer hobby list in San Francisco Bay for $666 each. And from there, Wozniak started to work on Apple II, which was designed to appeal to a wider market. Apple Computer Inc. was incorporated on January 3, 1977. The word brand Apple came about from Steve Jobs, who was on a fruit-only diet at the time and just liked apples. Jobs thought the name Apple was fun, spirited, and not intimidating. Their logo also started as a picture of Isaac Newton sitting under a tree, which symbolizes the act of Isaac Newton discovering gravity by seeing an apple fall from a tree. Then a year later, the logo changed to the now familiar rainbow-colored silhouette of an apple with a bite taken out of it. The many colors represent that their computer was the first to have a colored screen. Then the logo went through various designs until we landed on what we have now. Let's look at some of the products that Apple manufactures. We start with the hardware. Mac, the Mac is a series of personal computers made by Apple. Mac was named after Steve Jobs' favorite type of Apple, the Macintosh. The Mac was known as the Macintosh until 1999. The first Mac was released on January 24, 1984, and it was the first commercially successful personal computer to feature a mouse, a graphical user interface, and an operating system rather than the command line of its predecessors. Here is the list of Macintosh model series. Compact Macs are a line of all-in-one computers with a display integrated into the computer case. Apple divided these models into four major form factors. The Macintosh 128K was the original Apple Macintosh personal computer. It had a motherboard, a 9-inch, 23cm CRT monitor, and a floppy drive, which were housed in a beige case with an integrated carrying handle. It came with a keyboard and a single-button mouse. The processor of the computer was a Motorola 68000 microprocessor running at 7.8336 MHz, connected to 128 KB of RAM shared by the processor and the display controller. 
The Macintosh contained a single 400 KB single-sided 3.5-inch floppy disk drive. The models of this form factor were, Macintosh 128K, Macintosh 512K, Macintosh Plus, Macintosh 512K-800, Macintosh 512K, Macintosh ED, and Macintosh Plus ED slash European version. Macintosh SE, the Macintosh SE was introduced at the Apple World Conference in Los Angeles on March 2, 1987. The SE is an initial for system expansion. It had the following specifications. A Motorola 6800 processor with an 8 MHz system bus. The SE can accommodate either one or two floppy drives, or a floppy drive and a hard drive. Built-in 512 by 342 monochrome screen. A 3.6V lithium battery soldered into the logic board. A processor direct slot on the logic board allows for expansion cards. The SE ROM size increased to 256 kilobytes. The models of this form factor were Macintosh SE, Macintosh SE 120th, Macintosh SE 140, Macintosh SE FDHD, Macintosh SE SuperDrive, and Macintosh SE 30. Macintosh Classic. Macintosh Classic is the final adaptation of the Macintosh 128K industrial design, bringing some elements of the original while retaining little of the Macintosh SE design. This was the first Macintosh to sell for less than $1,000. The low-end model was sold with 1 MB of memory, a 1.44 MB floppy drive, no hard disk, and an included keyboard for $999 while the $1,500 one had 2 MB of memory and a 40 MB hard disk. Other specifications included an 8 MHz Motorola 68000 processor, 1 MB RAM expandable to 2 MB or 4 MB, a 3.6V lithium battery, and no expansion slots. The models with this form factor were the Macintosh Classic, Macintosh Classic 2, and Macintosh Performa 200. Macintosh Color Classic, it has an all-in-one design with a small, integrated 10-inch Sony Trinitron display. The display is capable of supporting up to thousands of colors with a video memory upgrade. The Color Classic is the final model of the original, compact, family of Macintosh computers. It had the following upgrades. Motorola 68030 CPU running at 16 MHz. Change the display to allow 640x480 resolution. A single expansion slot, an LC type processor direct slot, PDS. There was a direct clot to the processor from CPU accelerators, Ethernet, and video cards. It had an Apple keyboard known as an Apple Keyboard 2, M0487, which featured a soft power switch on the keyboard itself. The models of this form factor were the Macintosh Color Classic, Macintosh Performa 250, Macintosh Color Classic 2, and Macintosh Performa 275. Massington 2 personal computers were designed, manufactured, and sold from March 1987 to January 1990. Based on the Motorola 68020 32-bit CPU, it is the first Macintosh to support color graphics. The Macintosh 2 was the first computer in the Macintosh line without a built-in display, a monitor rested on top of the case. Had the following specifications. Had the Motorola 68020 processor operating at 16 MHz. Standard memory was 1 MB expandable to 8 megabytes. The Macintosh 2 includes a graphics card that supports a true color 16.7 million color palette and was available in two configurations, 4-bit and 8-bit. Apple offered a choice of two displays, a 12-inch black and white unit and a more expensive 13-inch high-resolution color display based on Sony's Trinitron technology. Had a 40 megabytes internal SCSI hard disk, which was optional, as was a second internal 800KB 3.5-inch floppy disk drive. Six new bus slots were available for expansion. 
The Macintosh 2 and Macintosh SE were the first Apple computers since the Apple I to be sold without a keyboard. Instead, the customer was offered the choice of the new ADV Apple keyboard or the Apple Extended Keyboard as a separate purchase. Macintosh LC The Macintosh LC was manufactured and sold from October 1990 to March 1992. The LC uses a pizza box case with a processor direct slot PDS, but no new bus slots. Other features were a 16 MHz Motorola 68020 microprocessor, a 16-bit data bus, had 256 KB of VRAM upgradable to 512 KB, supporting a display resolution of 512 by 384 pixels at 8-bit color. A floppy drive and a 40 MB or 80 MB hard drive. Desktop models in this series were the Macintosh LC, Macintosh LC2, Macintosh LC3, Macintosh LC3+, Macintosh LC475, and Macintosh LC630. The all-in-one models in this series were the Macintosh LC520, Macintosh LC550, Macintosh LC575, and Macintosh LC580. Macintosh Performa The Macintosh Performa was designed, manufactured, and sold from 1992 to 1997. The Performas were launched with their own variants of System 7, from 7.0.1p to 7.1.2p, which came with special software bundles and utilities, such as the Performa control panel. Some of its features include Motorola 68030 processor with 16 MHz speed 40 MB to 80 MB storage 1.44 MB floppy disk 2 MB inbuilt memory 9-inch monochrome display 3.6 lithium battery Macintosh Quadra The Macintosh Quadra was designed, manufactured, and sold from 1991 to 1995. The Quadra, named for the Motorola 68040 Central Processing Unit, replaced the Macintosh 2 family as the high-end Macintosh model. They had the following specifications. Motorola 68040 processor, ranging from 25 MHz to 33 MHC for the different variants. Memory ranging from 4 MB to 8 MB and expandable from 36 MB to 256 MB. They had 0, 80 MB, 160 MB, 230 MB, 400 MB, 500 MB, and 1 GB of maximum storage. They had no optical drives. Two new bus slots and a processor direct slot. The Macintosh PowerBook is a family of Macintosh laptop computers designed, manufactured, and sold from 1991 to 2006. The PowerBook line was targeted at the professional market. The PowerBook 100 was the first ever laptop from Apple to feature a setback keyboard, which made room for palm rests, and a front and center trackball for both left and right handed users, which would set the default standard for laptops. Although it was criticized for lacking a floppy disk drive, it went on to become a huge success. It featured a Motorola 68000 processor, which was manufactured by Sony, 2 MB of RAM, and a 9-inch backlit LCD. Apple later released its PowerBook 500 series in 1994. It included a trackpad, which replaced the trackball, a built-in microphone, Ethernet, and stereo speakers. Depending on the model, it also included a 9.5-inch black-and-white or color display and a Motorola 68LC040 CPU. The third generation of PowerBooks was the PowerBook G3, and it was Apple's most customizable laptop. It offered a PowerPC G3 chip that was up to two times faster than the Pentium and Pentium 2 processors used in PC notebooks and desktops, a CD-ROM and DVD-ROM drive, built-in video output, swappable expansion bays for multiple storage options, and lithium-ion batteries. 
It also featured a flip-up keyboard for easy access to the RAM expansion slot and removable hard disk drive. Apple later announced the iBook G3 on June 21, 1999, at the Macworld Expo in New York. It featured a polycarbonate shell in two translucent colors, a 12.1-inch high-resolution active matrix display, a built-in CD-ROM drive, a 3.2 GB hard disk drive, wireless networking and a convenient carrying handle. Powered by a PowerPC G3 processor, it included a 6-hour lithium-ion battery and a trackpad that supported tap, double tap, and dragging capabilities. Its integrated power plug glowed amber when the battery was charging and turned green when it was fully charged. The iBook G3 also included a sleep indicator beacon light that indicated when the iBook was asleep or turned off. The PowerBook Titanium G4 was later released on January 9, 2001. It featured a PowerPC G4 processor, a slot-loading DVD drive, and a 5-hour battery life. At 1 inch thick and 5.3 pounds, it included a 15.2 inches. TFT widescreen active matrix display and outperformed Pentium 3-based notebook systems by up to 30%. Apple's use of metal as an exterior casing would later become standard in all Mac products. The next series we are going to look at is the MacBook series. We are going to look at the major releases of the MacBook, MacBook Air and MacBook OK Pro with the order of release dates. MacBook Pro 2006 The first generation of MacBooks was the MacBook Pro, released on January 10, 2006. It was announced as the replacement for Apple's PowerBook G4. It featured a 1-inch thick aluminum enclosure and weighed 5.6 pounds. It was the first MacBook to feature a backlit keyboard and Apple's new MagSafe magnetic power connector. The MacBook Pro also included a 67% brighter display, a scrolling trackpad, and Apple's sudden motion sensor which was designed to protect the hard drive in case of a fall. The first Mac notebook based on an Intel processor, the 15-inch MacBook Pro, delivered up to four times the performance of the PowerBook G4. Apple released a 17-inch model a few months later. MacBook 2006 Apple released the MacBook in 2006 to replace both the iBook and 12-inch PowerBook. With its sleek design, Apple reported its new MacBook was the world's most advanced consumer notebook. At 1 inch thick, it was 20% thinner than the iBook. It was up to 5 times faster than the iBook and up to 4 times faster than the 12 inch PowerBook. It featured a 13.3 inch glossy widescreen display that was 79% brighter than the iBook and PowerBook, a built in iSight video camera, a MagSafe power adapter a sudden motion sensor, a scrolling trackpad, featured an Intel Core dual processor, 2GB RAM and up to 120GB storage and came in two colors, white and black options. MacBook Air 2008 The MacBook Air was the world's thinnest notebook when CEO Steve Jobs famously introduced it during Macworld 2008. Because of its thinness, the MacBook Air was the first Mac to remove the optical drive and feature a multi-touch trackpad with gestures. It included a 13-inch LED display and a full-size, backlit keyboard, along with a built-in iSight video camera powered by featured an Intel Core dual processor, 2GB RAM and up to 120GB storage. Apple later introduced an 11.6-inch model to compete with netbooks and ultrabooks. MacBook Pro 2008 Was released on October 18, 2008. Some of the improvements from the previous one were The addition of the aluminum unibody enclosure NVIDIA GeForce graphics card with either 256MB or 512MB Removable battery that Apple claimed would last 5 hours of use. High gloss screen, which is covered by an edge-to-edge -edge reflective glass finish. The entire trackpad is usable and acts as a clickable button. 
2.8 GHz quad-core Intel Xeon processors. 2 GB RAM and 320 GB storage. ATI Radeon HD 2600 XT 256 MB graphics. And many more features. In 2009, a release was made that brought a 17-inch version that had an improved lithium polymer battery. The 2010 update added Intel Core i5 and Core i7 processors, larger memory, better graphics, and even greater battery life. MacBook Air 2010 The second-generation MacBook Air was released on October 20, 2010. MacBook Air has a 13-inch Retina high-resolution widescreen display, it is powered with a dual-core Air Core 2 Duo and NVIDIA GeForce 320M integrated graphics processor with 256MB of shared DDR3 memory. It features 2GB of RAM, a 128GB per 256GB flash storage. Two USB 2.0 ports, analog audio out, SD card slot and mini DisplayPort video out with external 30-inch support display sum up the connectivity options. Minor upgrades happened in 2013, 2015, and 2017, each making some upgrades to the graphics, storage, and memory. MacBook Pro 2012 The 13.3 MacBook Pro Notebook computer is a powerful computer, powered by a 2.5 GHz Intel Core i5 dual-core processor with turbo boost up to 3.1 GHz. The computer is loaded with 4 GB of DDR3 RAM, a 500 GB 5400 RPM hard drive and a SuperDrive DVD burner. The computer's 13.3 cm display features LED backlight technology and a glossy finish. The MacBook Pro 2012 did away with Ethernet and FireWire ports. The computer features a comfortable backlit sheetlet style keyboard and a trackpad that fully supports multi-touch gestures. A 2013 update brought further improvements to graphics, memory, and storage, as was clearly the standard for minor upgrades between generations. This upgrade also made the chassis slightly thinner. Two years later, in 2015, Apple added Force Touch to the trackpad, along with even greater improvements to graphics, memory, storage, and battery life. MacBook 2015 It included a 12-inch Retina display, a redesigned butterfly mechanism keyboard, and a Force Touch trackpad. Apple introduced Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C ports in favor of the MagSafe adapter and standard USB-A ports for a slimmer form factor and increased power efficiency. It is powered by a fifth-generation Broadwell Intel Core M processor featuring 8GB of fast, power-efficient RAM and 256GB of PCIe-based flash storage. Apple updated this generation of MacBook in 2016 and 2017, adding improvements to the processors, keyboard, memory, storage, graphics, and battery. MacBook Pro 2016 The fourth generation of the MacBook Pro was announced at an Apple special event on October 27, 2016. The MacBook Pro 2016 is thinner and lighter than its predecessor. The 13-inch model has a 13.3-inch LED backlit display with IPS technology, 2.0 GHz dual-core Intel Core i5, turbo boost up to 3.1 GHz, 256 GB to 1 TB storage, and an 8 GB memory. The 15-inch model comes with 15.4-inch, diagonal, LED backlit display with IPS technology, a touch bar with integrated Touch ID sensor. 2.7 GHz quad-core Intel Core i7, turbo boost up to 3.6 GHz, 512 GB, 2 TB storage and a 16 GB onboard memory. MacBook Air 2018 The third generation of the MacBook Air had two releases. One was released on October 30, 2018, and the main features included a 13.3-inch Retina Display in Touch ID, 
256GB configurable to 2TB SSD Intel UHD Graphics 617 and 1.6 GHz Dual Core Intel Core i5, Turbo Boost up to 3.6 GHz, 2 USB-C ports and the Butterfly Keyboard. The second release was on November 17, 2020. They did away with the Intel Core i5 and added the company's new M1 processor, which is designed to deliver fast speeds while maintaining all-day battery life. It features a fanless design that keeps the air quiet and delivers up to 18 hours of continuous video playback. It comes with 16GB RAM and a 256GB storage configurable up to 2TB, it also has two Thunderbolt ports and the Apple's revamped Magic keyboard. It's available in silver, space gray, and gold color options. MacBook Pro 2020 This laptop was powered by the super powerful M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. It has 13.3-inch retina display that supports resolution of 227 pixels per inch that IT has 16GB RAM and 256GB storage configurable to 2TB that IT also comes with a 2 Thunderbolt that supports 61W fast charging and has a battery life that lasts up to 20 hours Apple TV app movie playback. It has the backlit magic keyboard with the touch ID and the touch bar. It's available in silver and space gray. It was announced on November 10, 2020, and later released in mid-November 2020. MacBook Pro 2021 This generation came in both 14-inch and 16-inch versions and was released on October 26, 2021. The key new features include the upgrade of processors to the turbocharged versions of Apple's M1 processor the M1 Pro and M1 Max, has 16GB unified memory configurable to 32GB, 256GB storage configurable to up to 8TB, has mini LED liquid retina XDR displays, a 1080p FaceTime HD camera, 3 Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI port, 6 speakers, and MagSafe 3. MacBook Air 2022 With the arrival of the new M2 processor, the MacBook Air gets an entirely new design in four different colors and a larger 13.6-inch liquid retina display that IT has 8GB RAM and 256GB storage configurable to 2TB. Other additions include backlit Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, a 4-speaker sound system, a 1080p HD camera, physical function keys, and support for fast charging with an optional 67W USB-C power adapter. It was released on July 15, 2022. MacBook Pro 2022 The new MacBook Pro M2 13-inch was released on June 24, 2022. The MacBook Pro moves to the M2 chip with an 8-core CPU and a 10-core GPU. It now supports up to 24GB of unified memory and up to 2TB of storage and remains the only Apple laptop with the touch bar. It continues to be offered in silver and space gray, offers a 720p camera and stereo speakers, and weighs in at 3 pounds. Let's now look at another product in Apple's line of products, called the iPhone. The iPhone is a line of smartphones produced by Apple that use Apple's own iOS mobile operating system. The first-generation iPhone was announced by then-Apple CEO Steve Jobs on January 9, 2007. Since then, Apple has annually released new iPhone models and iOS updates. Here is the evolution of the iPhone smartphone. The iPhone this is the first smartphone to be released by Apple on January 9, 2007. It was marketed as a widescreen iPod. It had the following features, 3.5-inch display, a 2MP camera, and storage that maxed out at 16GB, it had 128MB of RAM, which was fairly impressive, and weighed just 135 grams. Although it does not support any third-party apps, the original iPhone was considered ahead of its time thanks to its revolutionary touchscreen design. iPhone 3G, the second iPhone was released one year after the first iPhone on June 9, 2008. 
It had the App Store, 3G connectivity, and up to 16 gigabytes of storage. It offered a 3.5-inch display, a 2-megapixel camera, and 128 megabytes of RAM. iPhone 3GS, it was released on June 8, 2009. The iPhone 3GS had increased storage of 32 gigabytes and 256 megabytes of RAM. The iPhone 3GS also featured a new 3MP autofocus camera, an inbuilt digital compass, and new accessibility features like voiceover. iPhone 4, it was released on June 7, 2010, and it was the first iPhone with a retina display. It offered other upgrades too, including a 5MP camera with LED flash and FaceTime calls using a front camera, the first on an iPhone. The iPhone 4 also introduced a new glass and stainless steel design. iPhone 4S, after about a year, Apple later released the iPhone 4S on October 4, 2011. The phone had an 8MP camera, 64GB of storage, the digital personal assistant Siri, 1080p video recording, and iCloud storage. iPhone 5 the iPhone 5 was released in September 2012, and the following changes were introduced, a bigger 4-inch display, LTE connectivity, a FaceTime HD front camera, and a new lightning connector replacing the older 30-pin charging port. iPhone 5S and 5C, Apple introduced the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C. One year later, on September 10, 2013, the iPhone 5S brought Touch ID to the iPhone, integrating a fingerprint sensor into the home button. It also featured a fingerprint sensor and true tone flash, along with new camera modes such as burst and slow-mo. The iPhone 5C was a cheaper iPhone available in five vibrant colors but lacked the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the two phones were launched on September 9, 2014. They came in 4.7-inch and 5.5-inch screen sizes and had a new design made of unibody aluminum that was thinner than previous iPhones. The new iPhones were also the first to come with Apple Pay, allowing users to make contactless payments in stores using the Touch ID fingerprint sensor for authentication. Video recording got a boost with these iPhones, as did the FaceTime front camera. iPhone 6S and a 6S Plus the iPhone 6 series was followed by the iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus in September 2015. It had the following new features, a new A9 Bionic chipset with 3D touch, allowing users to apply pressure to the iPhone's display to view additional options. Live photos, improved front and rear cameras, and the ability to use the Hey Siri command without the iPhone being plugged into a power source. The iPhone SE was introduced to the market on March 21, 2016. It had more additional features than the previous iPhone 6S and iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone SE featured a compact 4-inch display, an A9 Bionic chipset, a 12-megapixel rear camera, 4K video recording, and live photos iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, six months after the iPhone SE, Apple introduced the iPhone 7. It offered up to 256 gigabytes of storage, dual cameras, and a beautiful jet black color. It was also the first iPhone with an IP67 water resistance rating. The bigger iPhone 7 Plus was also the first iPhone to feature dual rear cameras and portrait mode. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were later launched on September 12, 2017. The iPhone 8 introduced the following features, a new glass and aluminum design, bringing support for wireless charging for the first time on an iPhone. The iPhone 8 Plus also featured portrait lighting, a feature that has since become standard on iPhone models. Most notably, the iPhone 8 series brought support for AR, letting users experience games and apps in augmented reality. iPhone 10, the iPhone 10 was also launched alongside the iPhone 8 series. It has the following features, it replaced the Touch ID sensor and home button with Face ID, 
and it was also the first iPhone to feature a 5.8-inch fullscreen design and a wide notch. The iPhone X also introduced Animoji, now called Animated Emoji that IT had 64GB 3GB RAM or 256GB 3GB RAM. iPhone XS and XS Max, the two phones were announced on September 12, 2018. The phones came in two sizes, 5.8-inch and 6.5-inch, making the XS Max the largest iPhone yet. The phones featured an A12 Bionic chipset, improvements to Face ID, and an upgraded IP68 water resistance rating. The new iPhones also brought dual SIM to the iPhone for the first time, and they also introduced Gigabit LTE, enabling faster download speeds. iPhone XR on the same day Apple released the iPhone XS series, they also released the iPhone XR with a 6.1-inch display. It also featured the Apple A12 Bionic chipset but came with just a single rear camera. It offered a slightly downgraded water resistance rating of IP67, compared to IP68 on the iPhone XS devices. However, it was available in six colors and was priced affordably, making it a popular choice among iPhone buyers on a budget since it was intended to be a cheaper version of the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max. iPhone 11 series, this Apple series was introduced on September 10, 2019, and consists of the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 11 was available in a multitude of colors and came with an all-new wide and ultra-wide dual camera. It also featured the U1 chip with ultra-wide band technology. The iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max were the first iPhones to feature three cameras at the back, which included a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto sensor. They also had Super Retina XDR OLED displays and improved battery life compared to previous iPhones. iPhone SE 2, on April 15, 2020, for years after the original iPhone SE was announced, Apple launched the iPhone SE 2. It is powered by an A13 Bionic chip, has a 4.7-inch display, and has a home button with a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. It also featured an IP67 water resistance rating. The iPhone 12 series was announced on October 13, 2020, and consists of four models, the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 mini was a compact smartphone with a 5.4-inch display but featured the same full-screen design as the other iPhone 12 models. They were the first iPhones to support 5G and were also the first to introduce MagSafe, Apple's proprietary magnetic wireless charging system that has become a staple of iPhones since. While the iPhone 12 and 12 mini feature dual rear cameras, the iPhone 12 Pro models feature triple rear cameras. The Pro models also introduced ceramic shield, a super tough front cover glass to protect the display, and LiDAR to enable better augmented reality experiences. Apple also removed a key component of iPhones with the iPhone 12 series, the inbox charger. The iPhone 13 series, was announced by Apple on September 15, 2021, and consisted of three models, the iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. They are powered by the A15 Bionic chipset, and all the iPhone 13 models brought a significant boost to battery life. They also introduced a new cinematic mode in video, recording footage with a depth effect that automatically changed the focus depending on the scene, the iPhone 13 Pro models are the first iPhones to ship with a 120Hz display, but this feature isn't available on the cheaper iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. iPhone SE 3, two years after the iPhone SE 2, Apple introduced the iPhone SE 3. It did not have major upgrades to the design, continuing to offer a small 4.7-inch display, thick bezels, and a home button with a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. The smartphone packed new features such as 5G, an A15 Bionic chip, and improved battery life. Apart from that, 
there wasn't much difference from the older model. iPhone 14 Series The iPhone 14 Series was announced on September 7, 2022, and comprises the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Plus is a new model in the lineup, replacing the iPhone Mini. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus carry forward most features of the iPhone 13 series, including the A15 Bionic chip, the iPhone 14 Pro models bring all the upgrades. The biggest change is the new Dynamic Island, an oval-shaped cutout that replaces the wide notch. Additionally, the Pro models feature a new 48MP primary camera, the biggest resolution upgrade on an iPhone in years. They are powered by the A16 Bionic chip, which brings only minor upgrades over the A15. Another new feature is the always-on display, the first on an iPhone. All the iPhones in the iPhone 14 series feature the new crash detection and emergency SOS via satellite features, offering users access to emergency services when they may be immobile after a car crash or have no cell service or Wi-Fi access. The next product on our list is the iPad series. In March 2010, Steve Jobs introduced the first iPad, which is now known to set standards for other tablets. Since its inception, Apple has introduced various iPads that cater to people with different needs. There are four iPad models available on the market, and each one of them has passed through different generations. iPad First Generation the first ever original iPad was released on April 3, 2010, by Steve Jobs. It was a standout device, people compared it to an iPhone, and some even referred to it as a bigger iPhone. It has the following key specifications. 7-inch IPS LCD display with a 63.3% screen-to-body ratio. 768 by 1024 pixel resolution with 132 ppi density 16 gigabytes 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabyte storage options apple a445 nanometers processor with a 1 gigahertz gpu 256 megabytes ram 6600 milliamp hours battery capacity n0 camera speakers and a 3.5 mm jack silver color ipad 2 second generation the second generation of ipad which was released in 2011 added dual facing cameras which allowed users to capture movies snap photos and do video conferencing without needing a separate camera this ipad also doubled the processing speed and it was also 33% thinner and 15% lighter than the first generation. Key specifications are 7-inch IPS LCD display, 65.1% screen-to-body ratio, 768 by 1024 pixels resolution with 132 ppi density, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabyte storage options. Apple A545 nanometers processor with dual core 512 megabytes RAM, 6930 milliamp hours battery, 7MP rear camera and VGA selfie, speakers and a 3.5 millimeters jack, black and white color options, iPad third generation. This iPad was released in 2012 without any major surprises included. The graphics chip was changed to support the new display, but the CPU stayed the same as the previous generation. Apple made some incremental changes here with higher RAM and batteries. Additionally, this iPad was the first to include support for 4G LTE. Other specifications were 7-inch IPS LCD screen 16 GB slash 32 GB slash 64 GB storage. 1 GB RAM. Apple A5X 45 nanometers with a dual core 1 GHz Cortex A9 CPU. 5 MP rear camera with AF and a VGA front camera. 
iOS 5.1, upgradable to iOS 9.3.5. 11,560 mAh battery. iPad 4th Generation. The 4th generation of the iPad was released the same year as the 3rd generation. It has a more powerful processor with a 45 nanometer chipset, alongside other features like 7 inch IPS LCD screen, 16 GB, 32 GB, or 64 GB storage options. 1 GB RAM Apple A6X 45 nanometers with a dual-core 1.4 GHz CPU 5MP rear camera with AF and a VGA front camera iOS 6, upgradable to iOS 10.3 11,560 mAh battery iPad 5th generation this new iPad was released in 2017 and had the look of the iPad Air 3 since it had the same chipset as the iPad Air 2. It only lacked the laminated screen of the Air 2 and was nearly half an inch thicker. Its specifications were 7-inch IPS LCD screen 32GB per 128GB storage 2GB RAM Apple A9 45 nanometers with a dual core 1.84 gigahertz CPU. Touch ID. 8 MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2 MP front camera. iOS 10.3, upgradable to iPad OS 15.1. 8827 milliamp hours battery. iPad 6th generation. The 6th generation iPad was introduced in 2018. It has the addition of Apple Pencil functionality, the advanced stylist works more efficiently and accurately by using specific controls on the screen. Apple used the same 8D8 CPU in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Other features were 7-inch IPS LCD screen 32GB or 128GB storage 2GB RAM Apple A10 Fusion, 16 nanometers, with quad-core CPU and Touch ID 8MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2MP front camera iOS 11.3, upgradable to iPad OS 15.1 8827mAh battery iPad 7th generation The 7th generation iPad released in 2019, brought a larger 10.2-inch display with 2160 by 1620 pixels and 264 ppi, among other features like 32GB or 128GB storage options 2GB RAM Apple A10 Fusion, 16 nanometers, with quad-core CPU Touch ID 8MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2MP front camera. iPadOS 13.1, upgradable to iPadOS 15.1. 8827mAh battery. iPad 8th generation. The 8th generation iPad, launched in 2020, had a 10.2-inch retina display that could reach 500 nits of brightness. Powered by Apple A12 Bionic 7 nanometers with hexacore CPU. Other specifications were 32 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes storage options. 3 gigabytes RAM. Touch ID. 8 MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2 MP front camera. iPad OS 14, upgradable to iPad OS 15.1. 8,827 mAh battery iPad 9th generation The 9th generation iPad was released in 2021. It offered some meaningful upgrades over the last year. Its new 12-megapixel camera can now take better photos and videos, which is essential for Zoom meetings, the specifications were. 10.2-inch Retina IPS LCD screen 64GB or 256GB storage.
3 GB of RAM. Apple A13 Bionic 7 nanometers with a hexa-core CPU and Touch ID. 8 MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2 MP front camera. iPad OS 15 upgradable to iPad OS 15.1. 8,827 mAh battery. iPad 10th generation. This 10th version of the iPad is the most recent iteration, having been released in August 2022. The design of the 10th generation iPad closely resembles the higher-end iPad Air and Pro models, with flatter edges and no home button, among other features like 10.9-inch liquid retina display with 500 nits of brightness. Pre-installed iPad OS 16. A 14 Bionic chipset. 64GB and 256GB storage options. The power button on the top doubles as a Touch ID. 8000mAh battery size. 12MP rear camera and 1.2MP with a 122 degree FOV camera. Video quality of up to 4K. Silver, pink, yellow, and blue color options. On the iPad, let's look at iPad mini tablets. The iPad mini is the smallest iPad produced and manufactured by Apple. Apple has so far produced six generations of the iPad mini, as follows. First generation iPad mini. The first iPad mini was released in 2012. The device featured a 7.9 inch display, which is one of the reasons why it's the most popular model of all time. It also had 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte storage options. 512 megabytes RAM. Apple A5 NM processor with dual core 1.0 GPU. Non-removable 4490 milliamp hours battery. 5 MP rear camera with AF, 1.2 MP selfie camera. Stereo speakers and a 3.5 mm jack. Black slash slate and white slash silver color options. Second generation iPad mini. The second generation of iPad mini was slightly underpowered and shared the same processor and RAM as the second generation iPad. It was launched in 2013. Key specifications of this tablet are 7.9-inch IPS LCD display with a 71.7% screen-to-body ratio 1536 by 2048 pixels resolution with 324 ppi density 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabyte storage options Apple A728 nanometers processor with a dual-core 1.3 GHz GPU. 1 GB of RAM. 6470 mAh battery capacity. 5 MPF-2.4 rear with AF and HDR, 1.2 MP selfie cameras. Space gray-slash-black, silver-slash-white color options. 3rd generation iPad mini. The third generation of the iPad mini is the same as the second generation iPad mini, but with the Touch ID fingerprint included. Touch ID was a new form of security that enabled secure iPad unlocking and other activities like purchasing apps and using the newly launched Apple Pay. Its specifications are 7.9-inch IPS LCD display with a 71.7% screen-to-body ratio. 1536 by 2048 pixels resolutions with 324 ppi density. Front mounted touch ID. 6 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabyte storage options. Apple A728 nanometers processor with a dual core 1.3 gigahertz GPU. 1 GB RAM. 6470 milliamp hours battery capacity 5 mpf 2.4 rear with af and hdr 1.2 mp selfie cameras space gray black silver white and gold color options 
fourth generation iPad mini. The fourth generation iPad mini, which was launched in 2015, is slightly taller and wider but thinner and lighter by 30 grams than the previous generation. The headphone jack's position had to be changed due to the device's designer and wider but thinner and lighter by 30 grams than the previous generation. The headphone jack's position had to be changed due to the device's design. Its key specifications are 7.9 inch IPS LCD display with a 70.6% screen to body ratio. 1536 by 2048 pixels, 324 ppi density. Front mounted touch ID. 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabyte storage options. Apple A820 nanometers processor with dual core 1.5 gigahertz CPU and quad core power GPU. 2 gigabytes RAM. 5,124 milliamp hours battery size. 5 MPF/2.4 rear with AF and HDR, 1.2 MP selfie F/2.2 cameras. Space gray, silver, and gold color options. 5th generation iPad mini. Nearly 4 years later, Apple upgraded its iPad mini lineup with the 5th generation. Its performance scaled up from the last generation as its 7.9 inch retina display had a higher resolution panel with 324 pixels per inch. The other main key specification of the 5th generation iPad mini is. Front mounted touch ID. 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabyte storage options. Apple A12 7 nanometers processor with a hexa-core CPU and 4-core Apple GPU. 3 GB RAM. 5124 milliamp hours battery capacity. 5 MP rear cameras with AF and HDR and 1.2 MP selfie cameras. Space gray, silver, and gold color options. 6th generation iPad mini. The latest and current iPad mini, 6th generation, was launched by Apple on September 14, 2021, with minor changes in the design. It comes with a relatively bigger display, 8.3 inches compared to 7.9 inches in previous models. Apple says that the iPad mini 6 is composed of recycled materials, making it more environmentally friendly. Key specifications are 8.3-inch liquid retina IPS LCD display with 70.6% screen-to-body ratio and 500 nits brightness. 1488 by 2266 pixels, 327 ppi density. Side-mounted touch ID. 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabyte storage options. Apple A15 Bionic 5 nanometers with a hexa-core CPU and 5-core Apple GPU. 4 gigabytes RAM. 5124 my battery size. 12 MP ultra wide rear with HDR and 1.2 MP selfie cameras. Space gray, pink purple, and starlight color options. The iPad Air is next on our list. The iPad Air is in a good spot between the regular iPad, the iPad Pro, or even the iPad Mini. The iPad Air's initial iteration was released to the public in 2013. In an attempt to boost sales, the company produced a 64-bit CPU. Here is a list of the generations of the iPad Air. First Generation iPad Air Apple launched the first generation iPad Air with a sleek design that attracted a lot of consumers. It was available in the retail market on November 1, 2013. It has 9.7-inch IPS LCD screen 16GB slash 32GB slash 64GB slash 128GB storage 1 GB RAM Apple A7, 28 nanometers, with a dual-core 1.3 GHz Cyclone CPU 5 MP rear camera and 1.2 MP front camera 
iOS 7, upgradable to iPadOS 1 2.4.6. 8600 mAh battery. Second generation iPad Air. The iPad Air 2 CPU was upgraded from the iPad's previous version, and the capabilities were comparable to the iPhone model released in 2014. It has 9.7-inch IPS LCD screen, 16GB, 32GB, 64GB, and 128GB storage options, 2GB RAM, Apple A8X 20 nanometers with a triple core 1.5 GHz Typhoon CPU. 8 MP rear camera with AF and a 1.2 MP front camera. iOS 8.1, upgradable to iPadOS 15.1. 7340 mAh battery. Third generation iPad Air. The 2019 release of the iPad Air in terms of features and style, falls somewhere in the middle between the standard iPad and the iPad Mini 5. It is highly portable and has a long-lasting battery. It has 10.5-inch IPS LCD screen, 64GB or 256GB storage options, 3GB RAM, Apple A12 Bionic 7 nanometers with a hexa-core CPU, 8MP rear camera and a 7MP front camera. iOS 1 2.1.3, upgradable to iPadOS 15.1. 8134 mAh battery. 4th generation iPad Air. The 4th generation of the iPad Air was released in 2020. It has a classic edge-to-edge -edge screen with minimal bezels. The top-mounted fingerprint sensor makes for easy unlocks. Other specifications are 10.5-inch Liquid Retina IPS LCD screen 64GB or 256GB storage options 4GB RAM Apple A14 Bionic 5 nanometers with hexacore 12MP rear camera and 7MP front camera iPadOS 14.1, upgradable to iPadOS 15.1. 7,606 mAh battery. 5th generation iPad Air. Apple launched the 5th generation of the iPad Air in 2022. This 5th generation model has a lot of new and improved features, like 10.9-inch Liquid Retina, IPS LCD display with True Tone, wide color gamut, and 500 nits brightness. Top-mounted Touch ID 64GB and 256GB storage options Apple M1 octa-core processor with an 8-core CPU, an 8-core GPU, and a 16-core neural engine. 8GB of RAM 8827MA battery capacity 12MP rear 12MP ultra-wide selfie. Space gray, starlight, pink, purple, and blue color options. iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is the most powerful model in the iPad lineup, as it is equipped with the most powerful specifications but will cost way more than any other model in the iPad lineup. If you do a lot of powerful tasks such as editing, gaming, etc., this might be the perfect choice for you. Here is the list of the released generations of the iPad Pro tablets. First Generation iPad Pro Tablets Apple's tablets of this generation were released in three models. The first model was the iPad Pro, 12.9 inches. The first generation of the iPad Pro was launched in November 2015. It was meant for users who love to do powerful tasks and want to replace laptops with notebooks. Key specifications are 12.9 inch IPS LCD screen, 32 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, or 256 gigabyte storage options, 4 gigabytes RAM. 
Apple A9X 16 nanometers with Twister Dual Core 2.26 GHz CPU. 8 MP rear camera and a 1.2 MP front camera. iOS 9, upgradable to iPad OS 15.1. 10,307 mAh battery. The second model is the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, which was released in 2016 and has the following features. 9.7 inch IPS LCD screen. 32 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, or 256 gigabyte storage options. 2 gigabytes RAM. Apple A9X 16 nanometers with Twister Dual Core 2.16 GHz CPU. 12 MP rear camera and 1.2 MP front camera. iOS 9.3.2, upgradable to iPad OS 15.1. 7306 mAh battery. Space gray, rose gold, gold, and silver color options. The third model, the iPad Pro 10.5 inches, was released in 2017 and has the following features. 10.5-inch IPS LCD screen with 120 Hz. 32 GB, 128 GB, or 256 GB storage. 4 GB RAM. Apple A10X Fusion 10 nanometers processor. 12 MP and a 7 MP selfie. 8134 mAh battery. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray, rose gold, gold, and silver color options. The fourth model, the iPad Pro 11 inch, was later released in 2018 and has the following features. 11 inch IPS LCD screen with 120 Hz. 64 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and 1 terabyte storage. 4 gigabytes of RAM and 6 gigabytes for the 1 terabyte model. Apple A12X Bionic 7 nanometers processor. 12 MPF/1.8 with AF, PDAF, and HDR rear 7 MP selfie camera. 7812 mAh battery. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray and silver color options. Second generation iPad Pro tablets. Apple tablets of this generation were released in two models, which are. The first model was the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, which was released in 2017 and had the following features. 12.9 inch IPS LCD display with 120 Hz. 64 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or 1 terabyte storage options. 4 gigabytes RAM. Apple A10X Fusion 10 nanometers processor. 12 MP rear camera and 7 MP front camera. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. 10,891 mAh battery. Space gray, silver, and gold color options. The second model, the iPad Pro 11 inches, was released in 2020 and had the following features. 11-inch IPS LCD display with 120 Hz, 85.4% screen-to-body ratio, true tone with a wide color gamut, and 600 nits brightness. 1668 by 2388 pixels resolution and 265 ppi density face id 128 gigabytes 256 gigabytes 512 gigabytes and 1 terabyte of storage apple a12x bionic 7 nanometers processor with an octa-core cpu and a 7-core apple gpu 6 gb ram 7538 milliamp hours 12 mp dual pixel and 7 mp selfie 4k main and 1080 selfie video recording space gray and silver color options third generation ipad pro tablets 
Apple tablets of this generation were released in two models, which are. The first model was the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, which was released in 2018 and had the following features. Apple Pencil that is connected to the side of the tablet for easier charging. 12.9-inch IPS LCD display with 120Hz, 85.4% screen-to-body ratio, true tone, and a wide color gamut. 2048x2732 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 64GB, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB storage options. Apple A12X Bionic 7 nanometers processor. 4 gigabytes and 6 gigabytes of RAM for the 1 terabyte model. 10,891 milliamp hours battery capacity. 12 MP rear and HDR, 7 MP selfie. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray, silver, and gold color options. The second model was the iPad Pro M111 inch, which was released in 2021 and had the following features. 11-inch liquid retina IPS LCD display with 120Hz and Dolby Vision. 1668 by 2388 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 128GB, 256GB, 512 gigabytes and 1 terabyte storage options apple m1 with an octa-core cpu and an 8-core apple gpu processor 8 gigabytes ram and 16 gigabytes ram for 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes models 7538 milliamp hours battery capacity 12 mp dual pixel 10 mp ultra wide rear and 12 mp selfie camera 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray and silver color options. Fourth generation iPad Pro tablets. Apple tablets of this generation were released in two models, which are. The first model was the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, which was released in 2020 and had the following features. 12.9 inch IPS LCD display with 120 Hz, 85.4% screen to body ratio, true tone with a wide color gamut, and 600 nits brightness. 2048 by 2732 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 64GB, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB storage options. Apple A12Z Bionic Processor with Octa CPU and 8-Core Power VR Series 7 GPU. 6 GB RAM. 9720 mAh battery capacity. 12 MP Dual Pixel, 10 MP Ultra Wide, Rear, and 7 MP Selfie Camera. 4K Main and 1080 Selfie Video Recording. Space Gray and Silver Color Options. The second model was the iPad Pro M2, 11-inch, and was released in 2022 with the following features. 11-inch Liquid Retina IPS LCD display with 120Hz, HDR10, Dolby Vision, 85.4% screen-to-body ratio, true tone with wide color gamut, and 600 nits brightness. 1668 by 2388 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and 1 terabyte storage options. Apple M2 processor with an octa core CPU and 10 core Apple GPU. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes for 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes models. 7,538 milliamp hours battery capacity. 12 MP dual pixel wide plus 10 MP ultra wide rear and 12 MP selfie camera. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray and silver color options. Fifth generation iPad Pro tablet. 
The iPad Pro M1 12.9-inch tablet was released in 2021. It has a very tiny design and also has the Apple M1 processor, which powers its large and stunning display. It has the following features. 12.9-inch Liquid Retina LCD display with 120Hz, HDR10, Dolby Vision, 85.4% screen-to-body ratio, True Tone with a wide color gamut, and 1600 nits peak brightness, 1668 by 2388 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, and 2 terabyte storage options. Apple M2 processor with an octa-core CPU and 10-core Apple GPU. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes for 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes models. 7,600 mAh battery capacity. 12 MP dual pixel and 12 MP selfie cameras. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Space gray and silver color options. 6th generation iPad Pro tablet. Apple announced the 6th generation of the iPad Pro, 12.9 inch, with the M2 chip in 2022. It has the following features. 12.9 inch Liquid Retina XDR Mini LED LCD display with 120Hz, HDR10, Dolby Vision, 85.4% screen to body ratio, true tone with a wide color gamut, and 1600 nits peak brightness. 2048 by 2732 pixels, 265 ppi density. Face ID 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, and 2 terabyte storage options. Apple M2 with an octa-core CPU and 10-core Apple GPU processor. 8GB RAM and 16GB RAM for 1TB and 2TB models. 10,758mAh battery capacity. 12MP dual pixel and 12MP selfie cameras. 4K main and 1080 selfie video recording. Silver and space gray color options. Let's now go to the other product, which is the Apple Watch. Apple Watch is a line of smartwatches produced by Apple that incorporate fitness tracking, health-oriented capabilities, wireless telecommunication, and also integrate with iOS and other Apple products and services. The first Apple Watch was released in April 2015 and quickly became the best-selling wearable device. Apple has introduced a series of watches that have improved over time, each series being defined by watch casing material, color, size, functions, chip, and other functionalities. We are going to cover each generation ever produced by Apple so far. First Generation The first generation Apple Watch, also referred to as Series Zero, was released on April 24, 2015. This Apple Watch uses the single-core S1 system on chip, and it does not have a built-in GPS chip, instead, it relies on a paired iPhone for location services. It features new linear actuator hardware from Apple called the Taptic Engine, which provides realistic haptic feedback when an alert or notification is received and is used for other purposes by certain apps. The watch is equipped with a built-in heart rate sensor, which uses both infrared and visible light LEDs and photodiodes. All versions of the first-generation Apple Watch have 8GB of storage, the operating system allows the user to store up to 2GB of music and 75MB of photos. When the Apple Watch is paired with an iPhone, all music on that iPhone is also available to be controlled and accessed from the Apple Watch. Second Generation the second-generation Apple Watch has two models, the Apple Watch Series 1 and the Apple Watch Series 2. The Series 1 came in two sizes, 
38mm and 42mm aluminum cases with matching bands for both sizes. It has a 450 nit OLED Retina display with force touch and a faster Apple S1P processor. The Series 2 came in two sizes, 38mm and 42mm cases with matching bands for both sizes. It had a faster Apple S2 processor, GPS, and a brighter 1000 nit display. Other features include waterproofing for swimming workouts and additional case materials. Apple collaborated with Hermes Paris and produced Hermes Apple watches that use Hermes leather bands and come with a Hermes orange sport band that is included in the box by default. Apple also collaborated with Nike and produced a special model called the Apple Watch Nike Plus Series 2 with added benefits such as a map of your run, special custom watch faces, some of which represent various Nike products, the Nike Plus Run Cold app built in, and exclusive Nike bands. Third Generation In September 2017, Apple launched the Apple Watch Series 3, the third generation smartwatch of the Apple Watch lineup. The Series 3 came in two sizes, like all the other models, a 38mm and a 42mm case size, with matching band sizes for both. Cases were also available in stainless steel. The Series 3 was the first Apple Watch to have cellular connectivity, which many customers wanted. This way, you could use your watch without your iPhone. The update also included the S3 chip, 768 megabytes of RAM, and an altimeter. In this series, Apple also collaborated with Hermes and Nike Plus and produced special edition watches with them. Fourth Generation The Apple Watch Series 4, which was released in September 2018, is the first predominant redesign of the Apple Watch, featuring larger displays with thinner bezels and rounded corners and a slightly rounder, thinner chassis with a redesigned ceramic back. The Series 4 was the first Apple Watch to come in two new sizes, a 40mm and a 44mm case size, superseding the 38mm and 42mm cases and matching band sizes of the past. Cases were also available in stainless steel. It used the S4 64-bit dual-core processor, capable of up to double the S3's performance. It also has upgraded 16GB storage and a new electrical heart sensor. The microphone was moved to the opposite side between the side button and the digital crown to improve call quality. A special edition Nike Plus version of the Series 5 was made with added benefits such as a map of your run, special custom watch faces, some of which represent various Nike products, the Nike Plus Run Cold app built in, and exclusive Nike bands. 5th Generation The Apple Watch Series 5 was announced on September 10, 2019 and came in two sizes, the 40mm 1 and the 44mm 1. The improvements were the addition of a compass and an always-on display with a low-power display driver capable of refresh rates as low as once per second. Other features include international emergency calling, enabling emergency calls in over 150 countries, a more energy-efficient S5 processor, an improved ambient light sensor, and storage doubled to 32 gigabytes. The Series 5 and above, including the SE model introduced in 2020, also incorporate enhanced hardware and software-based battery and performance management functionality. Sixth Generation the Apple Watch Series 6 was announced on September 15, 2020, and launched on September 18, 2020. Its major improvements include the inclusion of a sensor to monitor blood oxygen saturation. Additional features include a new S6 processor that is up to 20% faster than the S4 and S5, a 2.5 times brighter always-on display, an always-on altimeter, an updated, third-generation optical heart rate sensor, and enhanced telecommunication technology, including support for ultra-wideband UWB, via Apple's U1 chip and the ability to connect to 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. This watch is updated with faster charging hardware, so it completes charging in one and a half hours. 
This series also featured a budget smartwatch called the Apple Watch SE. Using the Apple S5 processor and W3 wireless chip from the Apple Watch Series 5, it has a storage capacity of 32GB and comes in two sizes, 40mm and 44mm. It uses the same 1000 nit retina display as the Apple Watch Series 4. Finishes are available in silver, space gray, and gold. This Apple Watch SE was later updated in 2021 with an Apple Watch magnetic fast charger to USB-C cable, replacing the previous USB-A version. 7th Generation The Apple Watch Series 7 was announced on September 14, 2021, and released on October 15. The new watches run Watch OS 8. Improvements to the Series 7 watch include a more rounded design with a case 1mm larger than the Series 6, a display that is 70% brighter indoors and approximately 20% larger, improved durability via crack-resistant front crystal with IP6X certification for resistance to dust, 33% faster charging via improved internal electronics and an enhanced USB-C-based fast charging cable, and the availability of an on-screen keyboard that can be tapped or swiped. The Series 7 is also equipped with new hardware that enables ultra-rapid, short-range wireless data transfer at 60.5 GHz. The Apple Watch Series 7 is now available in Midnight, Starlight, Blue, Green, and Product Red Aluminum Case color options, as well as Graphite, Silver, and Gold. 8th Generation this generation comprises the Apple Watch Series 8, the second-generation Apple Watch SE, and the Apple Watch Ultra, which were announced in September 2022. The Series 8 includes a dual-temperature sensor that can record body temperature every 5 seconds to detect the effects of alcohol, illness, or ovulation, with health data encrypted to protect privacy. One sensor is next to the skin, and the other is located behind the display to account for ambient temperature. It also features new motion sensors for crash detection of up to 256 GS. The aluminum cases are available in Starlight, Midnight, Silver, or Red, while the stainless steel cases are available in Gold, Graphite, or Silver. The second generation SE adopts the same Apple S8 processor as the Apple Watch Series 8 for improved performance. The overall case design is retained from the original Apple Watch SE, but the back case has been redesigned with a nylon composite material to reduce its weight. It also features new motion sensors for crash detection of up to 256 GS. Along with the existing features of the Apple Watch Series 8, the Ultra includes an action button that can be assigned customized actions, such as shortcuts. The larger 49mm screen is twice as bright as standard retina displays and is encased in a titanium case that protects the screen edges and digital crown. It also supports night mode, which turns the display red to minimize eye strain in the dark. It requires user interfaces that support night mode, such as the Wayfinder watch face. It also features new motion sensors for crash detection of up to 256 GS. When activating emergency SOS, an optional siren can play an 86 dB SOS signal that can be heard up to 600 feet, 180 meters, away. Apple Tags Apple Air Tag is a tracking device developed by Apple designed to act as a key finder, which helps people find personal objects like keys, bags, apparel, small electronic devices, vehicles, and so on. AirTag was announced on April 20, 2021, made available for pre-order on April 23, and released on April 30 of the same year. AirTags can be interacted with using the Find My iPhone app. Users may trigger the Air Tag to play a sound from the app iPhones equipped with the U1 chip can use precision tracking to provide direction to and precise distance from an Air Tag. To help prevent unwanted tracking, an iOS or iPad OS device will alert its owner if someone else's Air Tag seems to be with them instead of with the Air Tag's owner for too long. 
If an AirTag is out of range of any Apple device for more than 8 to 24 hours, it will begin to beep to alert a person that an AirTag may have been placed in their possessions. Users can mark an AirTag as lost and provide a phone number and a message. Any iPhone user can see this phone number and message with the Identify Found Item feature within the Find My iPhone app, which utilizes near-field communication NFC, technology. Android and Windows 10 mobile phones with NFC can identify an AirTag with a tap, which will redirect to a website containing the message and phone number. AirTag requires an Apple ID in iOS or iPadOS 14.5 or later, and it uses the CR2032 button cell, replaceable with one year of battery life. Apple TV Apple TV is a digital media player and micro console developed by Apple that plays received media data, such as video and audio, to a television set or external display. It is an HDMI compliant source device and can only be connected to an enhanced definition or high definition widescreen television through HDMI to function. It can only be controlled remotely, either through an Apple remote, a Siri remote, or some third party infrared remotes. Its media services include streaming media services, casting and mirroring, and sports journalism and broadcasts. Models of the Apple TV First Generation Apple TV Apple announced the first generation Apple TV in 2006 and released it in March 2007. It was originally announced as iTV to fit into their i-based product naming convention, but was renamed Apple TV before launch due to a trademark dispute with a British broadcasting network, ITV, in the United Kingdom, and they threatened to take legal action against Apple. Some of its features are It runs on a Pentium M processor and runs a variant of Mac OS X Tiger. Had a 40GB hard disk for storing content, which was later expanded in May 2007 to 160GB. It supported output up to 720p on HDTVs via HDMI. Had a 256MB 400MHz DDR2 SDRAM. Silver or white color options. Second generation Apple TV. Apple released the second generation Apple TV in September 2010, which is based on the ARM based Apple A4 chip instead of an Intel x86 processor and runs a variant of iOS. It is housed in a black enclosure and is one quarter the size of the first generation model. Some of its features are. 8GB of flash storage for buffering Had a 256 megabyte DROM It supports output up to 720p via HDMI 3rd Generation Apple TV Apple announced the 3rd Generation Apple TV in March 2012, which is identical to its predecessor in external appearance. But it differs with some internal features, like having an A5 chip with one core deactivated, supporting 1080p video output, and allowing remote access to HomeKit devices. 4th Generation Apple TV The 4th generation of the Apple TV is also known as the Apple TV HD, which was announced on September 9, 2015. This model uses a new operating system, tvOS, with an app store, allowing downloads of third-party apps for video, audio, games, and other content. It's powered by a 64-bit Apple A8 chip and adds support for Dolby Digital Plus Audio. This model Apple TV's touch remote uses swipe to select features, Siri support, a built-in microphone, volume control over HDMI, CEC, and IR, and an accelerometer. It has 3GB of RAM and 32 and 64GB storage options. Apple 4K TV, first generation. Apple announced the Apple TV 4K, which supports 2160p output, HDR10, Dolby Vision, and includes a faster Apple A10X chip, on September 12, 2017. It has 2GB of RAM, 32 and 64 gigabytes of storage options, Dolby Atmos support, and a Siri remote. Apple 4K TV, 
second generation. Apple announced an updated Apple TV 4K with the A12 Bionic chip on April 20, 2021. It has support for high frame rate HDR, HDMI 2.1, and Wi-Fi 6. It comes with 4GB of SDRAM and 32 and 64GB of storage options. Its HDMI port supports ARC and eARC, which allow other sources plugged into the television to output audio through Apple TV, including to AirPlay speakers. It also has the ability to pair with the ambient light sensor on iPhones with Face ID to optimize its color output. The model also comes with a thicker, redesigned Siri remote with a circular touchpad with navigational buttons, as well as power and mute buttons. Apple 4K TV, 3rd Generation Apple announced an updated Apple TV 4K with the A15 Bionic chip on October 18, 2022. A 5-core CPU, 1 high-efficiency core disabled, and 5-core GPU, reduced weight and dimensions, and support for HDR10+. It comes in two configurations, a Wi-Fi-only model with 64GB of storage, and a more expensive 128GB model with Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and a thread radio. The included Siri remote charges a USB-C instead of Lightning. After the hardware, let's now look at the software. We start with macOS. macOS is an operating system developed by Apple primarily for its Mac computers. It was introduced to the market in 2001 for desktop and laptop computers. It's the second most widely used desktop operating system after Microsoft Windows and ahead of Chrome OS. The development of Mac OS has gone through three different stages, from Mac OS X until 2011, then OS X until 2016, and now Mac OS. This is the 13th major release of Mac OS, the desktop and server operating systems for Mac computers. The word Sierra is named after the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California. This operating system is made for the following products iMac, late 2009 or later. MacBook, late 2009 or later. MacBook Air, late 2010 or later. MacBook Pro, mid-2010 or later. Mac Mini, mid-2010 or later. Mac Pro, mid-2010 or later. iOS iOS it is a mobile operating system that powers many of the company's mobile devices, including the iPhone. iOS is the world's second most widely installed mobile operating system, after Android. Apart from the iPhone, iOS also powers the iPod Touch and the iPad. This operating system was first unveiled in 2007 for the first generation of the iPhone. Since then, it has been releasing major versions annually. tvOS This is an operating system developed by Apple for the Apple TV as a digital media player. It was released in 2015 with the fourth generation of the Apple TV, which supports third-party applications. WatchOS The Watch operating system is the operating system of the Apple Watch, developed by Apple. It was first released in April 2015, along with the Apple Watch. It has gone through major improvements since it was released, with each version having specific features included. Some of the supported health metrics include heart rate, menstrual cycle status, speed duration, maximal aerobic capacity, electrocardiogram, blood oxygen saturation, and others. Final Cut Pro Final Cut Pro is a professional non-linear video editing application initially developed by Macromedia and, since 1998, by Apple as part of its Pro Apps collection. Final Cut Pro allows users to import, edit, and process video footage and output it in a wide variety of formats. Logic Pro Logic Pro is a digital audio workstation and MIDI sequencer software application for Mac OS developed by Apple. Logic Pro provides software instruments, audio effects, 
and recording facilities for music synthesis. It also supports Apple Loops, which are royalty-free, professionally recorded instrument loops. GarageBand GarageBand is a line of digital audio workstations developed by Apple for macOS, iPadOS, and iOS devices that allow users to create music or podcasts. It was originally released for macOS in 2004 and brought to iOS in 2011. The app's music and podcast creation systems enable users to create multiple tracks with pre-made MIDI keyboards, pre-made loops, an array of various instrumental effects, and voice recordings. iWork iWork is an office suite of applications created by Apple for its macOS, iPadOS, and iOS operating systems and also available cross-platform through the iCloud website. It includes the presentation application keynote, the word processing and desktop publishing application pages, and the spreadsheet application numbers. The equivalent Microsoft Office applications to pages, numbers, and keynote are Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, respectively. Keynote Keynote is presentation software developed by Apple as part of the iWork productivity suite. Users can create slideshows that include images, from the device's camera roll, text, and charts, and they can select themes, fonts, styles, transitions, and animation from a range of options. They can play their presentations from the device or share them via iCloud, email, or other apps, and they can export presentations in Keynote, PDF, or PowerPoint formats and then open them through other apps on the device. In addition to the basic features for creating and viewing presentations, Keynote also comes with a remote feature that allows users to use one Apple device to control a presentation on another Mac, iPad, or iPhone. Pages Pages is a powerful word processor that lets you create stunning documents and comes with most Apple devices. It is part of the iWork productivity suite and runs on the Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS operating systems. It is also available on the web through iCloud. Documents saved as a Pages file can contain a variety of different content types, such as reports, posters, brochures, newsletters, and books. Apple Pages also provides a number of different templates to create these document types. The contents of a Pages file may contain text, images, graphs, tables, and charts. Apple Pages runs on Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS operating systems. Numbers Numbers is a spreadsheet application developed by Apple as part of the iWork productivity suite alongside Keynote and Pages. Numbers uses a freeform, canvas, approach that demotes tables to one of many different media types placed on a page. Other media, like charts, graphics, and text, are treated as peers. In comparison, traditional spreadsheets like Microsoft Excel use the table as the primary container, with other media placed within the table. Numbers also includes features from the seminal Lotus Improv, notably the use of formulas based on ranges rather than cells.